Hello all. In this video, we shall see how to dual boot Windows 8.1 with Ubuntu 13.10. Most of the new laptops are preloaded with Windows 8.1. This new OS do not use the traditional BIOS firmware. Instead, it uses UEFE, Unified Extensible Firmware Interface. To start with, you have to back up your Windows OS by creating a recovery media. Type in recovery on the tiles window. The search bar opens. Select create a recovery drive and plug in a 8GB pen drive to create recovery media. Next step is to download the Ubuntu 13.10 64-bit ISO file and create a live DVD by burning the ISO file onto your DVD. And the third step is to create an empty space of around 25 GB to host Ubuntu. Type in disk on tiles window and select create, for, uh, create and format hard disk partition. The disk management window opens showing up the drives and the spaces allotted. Select a drive other than C. Here we are selecting F drive uh, right click F drive and select shrink volume. Enter the amount of space wanted. Uh, we are going to use 25 GB so uh, feed in 25,000 and click on OK. Now a 25 GB empty space is created. Step 4 is to disable the fast boot option of Windows 8.1. Type in power option onto the tiles window and select power options. Click on choose what the power button does on the left pan and then click on change setting that are currently unavailable. Now scroll down the screen and untick the option which says turn on fast startup. This fast startup is not required for a dual boot, so we are switching it off. Next step is to disable the secure boot of UEFE. As secure boot does not allow Ubuntu to dual boot, we have to disable it. Open the charms bar and click on settings icon. Now click on power icon to see the restart option. Now press and hold the shift key and click on restart. Now new window opens, select troubleshoot and then click on advanced options. Click on UEFE firmware settings and then restart. Now on the boot up window, on top you can see secure boot is on. To dis disable this, scroll down and select enter setup and then move on to the boot option. Here you click on secure boot. A small window pops up where you select the disabled. Select this and on the top you move on to the exit tab and click on exit saving changes. Now the secure boot is disabled. Now place the Ubuntu live DVD on the drive and then restart. Tap on Dell key or F12 key to get the boot up options. Now select the DVD path to boot from the live DVD. You get two options to try or install Ubuntu. Select install Ubuntu. Now select the language as English and then click on next. On the next screen, uh, there is an option to select updates while installing. Uh, do not select this and also disconnect if internet connection is there. If you select updates enable, it will take hours to finish installation. So better uh, disconnect the internet connection and also disable update. Click on continue on the next screen select at the bottom something else be cautious to select an option here if you select the first option then your windows partition will be erased click continue next uh, screen shows up the hard disk management 
here you can uh, see the free space 25 GB we have created earlier on this free space we have to create four Ubuntu partitions click on that free space now a new window opens there you feed in the size as 300 MB as the first partition and type of partition is primary the location is uh, beginning of the space and then file system is ext4 the mount point is slash boot now click on ok to see a 300 MB boot partition created now click on the plus symbol to create a second partition at the left bottom there is a plus symbol uh, click on that now input a size of uh, 10,000 that is 10 GB and type as uh, and type of partition is logical file system is ext4 on mount point is root that is only a slash symbol now a 10 GB a logical partition is created for root now click on that symbol again and create a partition around uh, 12 GB for home the partition is logical and file system ext4 and mount point is uh, slash home we are feeding in 11914 that is around uh, 12 GB for this logical partition home and finally 4 GB is left out here you can see 4 GB is left out as uh, free space we are going to declare that as swap area this uh, space is same as that of your uh, system RAM declare that as uh, swap area now all four now all four partitions are uh, over 300 MB for uh, boot 10 GB for uh, root 12 GB for home and 4 GB for swap only the boot partition is primary and all others are logical file system is ext4 for all click on continue to start the installation select the location of the, and the keyboard language you can provide a name for your computer and password you can also select login automatically without entering a password For Ubuntu one user you can opt for register later click on continue installation is automatic and will finish within two to three minutes if internet is on and updates are enabled it will take hours to finish so we are disconnecting internet and disable update so that installation finishes within two to three minutes finally when you see the installation complete screen you just click on restart now the Ubuntu grub will uh, take over and display the dual boot window here you can select Ubuntu or Windows to boot with thank you for watching